Bernie Sanders, as early as 2011, made some prescient comments about the Panama Papers corruption scandal. Let's watch. Say a word about the Panama Free Trade Agreement. Now, Panama is a very small country. Its entire uh, annual economic output is only $26.7 billion a year, or about two-tenths of 1% of the American economy. So I think no one is going to legitimately stand up here and say that trading with such a small country uh, is going to significantly increase American jobs. Then why would we? Why would we be considering a trade agreement with Panama? What's going on there? Well, it turns out, Mr. President, that Panama is a world leader when it comes to allowing wealthy Americans and large corporations to evade U.S. taxes by stashing their cash in offshore tax havens. And the Panama Free Trade Agreement would make this bad situation much worse. Uh, as I'm a member of the Budget Committee, as you are, Mr. President, and we have heard testimony time and time again that our country is losing up to $100 billion every year as corporations stash their money in postal addresses in the Cayman Islands, Bermuda, and in Panama. And this trade agreement makes that situation even worse. According to Citizens for Tax Justice, quote, a tax haven has one of three characteristics. It has no income tax or a very low rate income tax. It has bank secrecy laws. And it has a history of non-cooperation with other countries on exchanging information about tax matters. Panama has all three of those, and they are probably the worst end of quote, according to Citizens for Tax Justice. The trade agreement with Panama would effectively bar the United States from cracking down on illegal and abusive offshore tax havens in Panama. In fact, combating tax haven abuse in Panama would be a violation of this free trade agreement exposing the U.S. to fines from international authorities. Well, at a time when we have a $14 trillion plus national debt, and at a time when we are frantically figuring out ways to try to lower our deficit, some of us believe that it is a good idea to do away with all of these tax havens by which the wealthy and large corporations stash their money abroad and avoid paying U.S. taxes. The Panama Trade Agreement would make that goal uh, even more difficult. Okay, now this is a clear example of him being right and him calling this out in advance. But it's also a clear example of if we had a press that knew what the fuck they were doing, they would have been saying the same things. But since our media, specifically corporate media, is so fundamentally broken, they can't state the obvious. So the Democratic Party and the Republican Party were both for that Panama Free Trade Agreement and Colombia Free Trade Agreement. So the only uh, picture that you're going to get painted in the mainstream media is, uh, we have an economic deal here, mm, it will be good for our country, and uh, the Democrats are for it, and the Republicans are for it, therefore it must be good, bipartisanship is working, let's move forward. That's what you get from it. But anybody who gives a shit about the facts can do the analysis that Bernie Sanders did there, and I'm sure he would tell you the same thing, that while many people are impressed by this, it's not that hard to see that, oh, Panama's really small, why would we trade with them? It's not going to significantly increase U.S. jobs. Are you kidding me? If anything, we lose jobs. We always lose jobs in these free trade agreements. So what possible positive outcome is there for anybody as a result of this deal? Well, he just explained it. You have the Cayman Islands. You have uh, Bermuda. You have Panama. Uh, these are all uh, giant tax havens. And the idea is to strengthen economic ties with them, to make it easier for rich people and corporations to, to shove their money over there and dodge taxes. That's the entire point of it. This was a deal that was negotiated by the Bush administration, but when Obama got in power, he supported it, and Hillary Clinton, as Secretary of State, supported it, and many Democrats supported it. And it was only the Progressive Caucus and people like Bernie Sanders who were like, we see what's fucking happening here. You're both giant sellouts, the Republican Party and the Democratic Party. You're both huge sellouts to the rich, and you're just doing their bidding. We see this. We, we understand what's happening. And then today, oh my God, it's so funny. The media, the mainstream media, if they even talk about it, oftentimes they just don't talk about the Panama Papers. Uh, but whoever did talk about it was like, my goodness, 
I cannot believe that international elites and corporations and the donor class are dodging their taxes. Wow. And the rest of us are. Go look at my coverage of it. I said I file it under www.noshit.com. Because we already have other facts that are incredible facts that should be spoken about on a weekly basis of 18,000 addresses registered to one place in the Cayman Islands. <laughs> That's obviously to dodge taxes. It's the most obvious thing ever. The uh, worldwide um, tax dodging industry is worth 20 trillion dollars. Not only are elites and corporations dodging taxes, it's probably the case that almost all of them are dodging taxes. And Bernie's like, I think we have a problem here. <laughs> yeah, Bernie, you're right. And sadly, you're one of few politicians who calls it out because you're one of the few with integrity and with the actual record to prove that you're for the people and you're actually doing your job.